Well, hello everyone and welcome to my channel and this Mpesa Daraja API course. I am very, very excited to have this opportunity to share, interact, as well as do some fun practical programming along the way using technologies that I absolutely love. And that is Django, Python and React Native. For, for those who are not familiar with any of those technologies, so Python is a programming language which is fun and uh, cuts across a lot of industries whether it's web programming whether it's machine learning and ai django is built on top of python and it's a framework that enables us to write web apps or web application as well as manage databases and uh, do apis uh, react native is what we are going to use to build real mobile apps whether it's android or ios and i'm very excited that we are going to to learn this uh, through the conceptual approach of learning so for the next couple of videos we'll do a complete conceptual approach to learning and this is a method that centers on big picture ideas on learning how to organize and categorize information and unlike more traditional learning where we concentrate more on the ability on how you can memorize specific facts or workflows or how specific code is written uh, this one we are going to dive more deep in understanding the broader principles or ideas or what is called concepts that pertain to M-Pesa APIs as well as how we can leverage that to make mobile apps so this is more of a top-down approach uh, versus the more traditional the first couple of videos we are just going to learn more or less of how api works on the surface and understanding the capabilities that we can achieve using this api and a few videos later in uh, we are going to start an actual project that we can leverage this technology and actually create something fun for us something that maybe we can use in kenya so far i've not have any idea so if you guys have any ideas please drop uh, your idea uh, in the description below and we can check so it can be anything it can be an e-commerce site like an amazon app it can be uh, something to pay school fees it can be like a supermarket mobile app it can be whatever the idea is as long as it involves buying stuff or transacting and pay uh, between businesses and individuals so a little bit about me I've been programming for the web for the last two years and I've done computation programming and data visualization for the past five years. And I also have a huge passion with unmanned aircraft. So if any of you have that passion, please also drop me a message in the link below and we can talk more about that. So just to give you an overview of what we are going to do, uh, initially we are going to start with Daraja API and that is going through the Safaricom site and checking what uh, the Daraja API is about and learning the various things and capabilities that we are about to do, which I'm going to show you in a few moments later. After that, we are going to see how we can tie up the Daraja API using Python as the primary programming language to help us do a lot of this business transaction whether it's checking for balance whether it's sending money to a pay bill uh, whether it's receiving money or sending money between a pay bill and a pay bill and of course we can't talk about python with is the web framework that is going out to help us uh, do first of all start with a database uh, where we'll be using postgres database uh, which is tied to django so this and this is where we are going to save all the information that pertains to all our transactions so that's like reference numbers where we save who made what transaction at what time and to, uh, we are also going to look at Django REST framework now uh, I'm going to dive deeper into Django REST framework for, for those people who don't understand the technology please don't get worried uh, so but anyway this is just an overview we're going to talk about Django REST framework and this is a, a library that helps us uh, do api endpoints because that's how we are going to be to connect uh, our mobile app with our backend with django so think of django rest framework as the bridge between our backend which is django will be sitting on a server somewhere and uh, our mobile app which we are going to make for either android or ios uh, so for making mobile apps we are going to connect uh, react native which is a javascript library that helps us to build native uh, Android and iOS apps and uh, with React Native we are going to use what is called uh, Expo SDK which is uh, an SDK an SDK that sits on top of React Native that enables uh, uh, give us access to things like uh, maybe fingerprint logins using mobile applications it will give us access to uh, reading contacts of uh, 
and it can also give you other things that will, for example, access to camera. Uh, for example, we are also going to do push notifications. Now we'll be able to prototype and rapidly build uh, iOS and Android apps. We are also going to use Firebase, which is made. It's a Google Cloud messaging platform, and this is what is going to enable us to send push notifications whenever uh, a client does a uh, we do a payment. Uh, OTA updates us basically uh, up with Expo. That's where we'll be able to update our mobile apps without technically ever having to upgrade them in the App Store. So it's 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 a sweet f process that we are going to do where we can do some code changes and push out those updates to consumers, and they'll never have to go to the Google Play Store to update their app. It's really a cool thing. So. Uh, one of the most important things that we are going to discuss in this tutorial as well, uh, it's about the backend and how we are going to push our app to the cloud, and that's our backend. And we are going to use um, a company called Heroku, uh, which is a hosting service. And with this, they are going to provide what is called a load balance. And again, we, we are going to talk about this in the next videos to come, and which will be all about this. Uh, where we are also going to do a HTTPS certificate to our cloud. This is important uh, for security because majority, I mean all of Safaricom endpoints usually work, com endpoints usually work through HTTPS. So we are going to look at Nginx and uh, also so as a load balance and G Unicorn and these are technologies that is going to help us receive the incoming HTTPS requests or this request. So if you are having like 10 people doing transactions at the same time, so how do we receive those requests in the cloud and properly communicate with a backend to do those transactions? Of course, as add-ons, we are going to touch a little bit on about uh, Amazon S3 because we might decide to save some of like images uh, for, for profile picture users or if you are tr if we decide to do a project like an e-commerce site maybe saving pictures of products or whatever we decide and we're also going to use paper trail uh, which is a logging service so whenever we have errors in the cloud because sometimes our servers can crash uh, so how we effectively do the logging and also coming closer home in Kenya uh, we are going to, to use Africa stocking uh, to send SMS confirmations but uh, we established that we are going also to do push notifications it's just a redundancy but it's something exciting that we can I will show you how we can integrate all these technologies so this is the broad overview of maybe what we are going to do in the next 20 30 probably 40 videos if we get time so again uh, don't worry about all this uh, we are going I'm going to explain each and every single one of them going forward so uh, after talking that uh, so what are the APIs uh, what do you do we want to leverage the most uh, MPESA gives us access to client to pay bills this is where we'll see how we can send money from your phone uh, to a business pay bill or how Effectively, you re a pay bill receives uh, money from multiple clients. We're also going to see how we can do a business pay bill to a business pay bill to sort of transaction. Um, then we're also going to look at how to do um, business to client, that is a pay bill sending you money as a, to a client. We're also going to see how we can check transaction status as well as reversal API for transaction as well as the balance API. Again, don't worry too much about the terminologies. We are going to do each and every one of them one step at a time. Of course, going forward, I look forward to, to, to starting off in the next video. Please make sure to follow me on the, on the following handles as well as uh, subscribe.